getting hired by the Red Claws at the same time they were being acquired by the Celtics was just a, literally a dream come true for me. I've always wanted to work in professional sports, um, really the Celtics uh, specifically. You know, my biggest goal as a Red Claws staff member, as part of the Boston Celtics, a female, a wife, a mom, I really want to be in the community and teach people that what the obstacles are in front of you, but they don't have to be obstacles. You can overcome them. You know, when a little girl goes to a professional sporting event or watches one on TV, um, they they mostly see men as coaches, trainers, referees. Um, though in the past few years, I feel like women are starting to earn themselves roles generally held by men. No matter what you look like or what background you come from, I want to help get everyone on the same playing field. So I'm hoping to be able to bring that more to our community as we immerse ourselves more in Portland and Maine. Women belong in politics, they belong in boardrooms, and they belong in sports. I think as long as you have the tools, then you can feel empowered as a female. My coworker Hannah and I have really leaned on each other a lot um, as we were hired at the same time. Um, she's given me a lot of confidence. I like to think I've done the same for her. The support from other females as I have had now on this team. It's pretty just remarkable to be able to feel confident and to feel as though um, you have the power to speak and to be listened to. You know, women used to see other women as competition with the theory that like there's only room for a few at the top. And and I, I really think that, that that thought is really going away. And I think there's room for a lot of women at the top. So we're here to stay and we're going to continue, you know, to aim high and to fight the fight and be whoever it is that we want to continue to be um, as long as it's a great representation of our overall team.